example of uh, csp that is the map coloring problem also we have discussed the types of the csp based on the variables and the domains and then we have started discussing regarding the backtracking and uh, drawbacks related to the backtracking and also uh, we have discussed uh, why there is a need to improve the backtracking and uh, how we can improve the backtracking because as we have discussed the constraint satisfaction uh, approach efficiency depends on the efficiency of the backtracking technique and if you want to increase the efficiency of the backtracking technique uh, we need to decrease the number of back tracks that uh, we used to perform while solving some problem using the constant satisfaction approach okay and uh, we have discuss uh, some of the techniques uh, by asking some question like uh, before we go on assigning some variable or before we go uh, you know to assign some value to the variable or when we choose some variable to assign the value we have seen some of the question like what variable you must choose then what value you must choose instead of randomly doing all these kind of things and also we have discussed is it possible to avoid such kind of conflict that being occurred when we are utilizing the backtracking technique in order to solve the constant satisfaction problem and uh, if it is possible to uh, detect such such kind of conflict conflict in the sense the point where the our constraints are not matching because you know the constant satisfaction approach totally depends on the uh, constraint okay we can solve the problem if the constraint related with that problem get satisfied and today actually we are going to discuss that uh, techniques okay uh, related with the question that we have discussed yesterday which are that different technique uh, using which uh, we can we can make the backtracking uh, efficient uh, or we can uh, decrease the number of backtracks that we have to perform and because of that definitely the constant satisfaction approach efficiency will also increase okay so let's start with the the techniques related with the uh, improving the backtracking efficiency now in that first technique is related with the second question that yesterday we have discussed which value you must select i hope you are remembering that questions that yesterday we have discussed yes sir okay so second question we have discussed ki which value you must choose okay and related with that we have the first technique that is the least constraining value first technique is what least constraining value now first you need to understand what exactly it means and then we can apply it to the example okay so when we are given the number of variable we need to choose the least constraining value means what value exactly okay what kind of value so least constraining in the sense the one particular value that rule out the fewest values in the remaining variables okay until you not see the example you will get will not understand what exactly it means just listen so least constraining value in the sense which value the value which rule out the fewest values in the remaining variable means what we need to prefer the value and because of choice of that value there will be the more flexibility will be provided to the certain neighbors now flexibility to this that particular neighbors related with what related with the coloring 
okay in the sense what in meaning of this is what we are trying to reduce the constraints on the neighbor this technique is related with what we select such color that's a value because of which what will happen there will be the reduction on the constraint on its neighbors on its neighbors in the sense neighbors of particular variable okay now let's see the example for example okay now <clears throat> now we have this region same example we are carrying on okay uh, map coloring uh, related with the coloring the regions of the country okay australia <clears throat> now suppose <clears throat> here we choose first the red color okay here as you can see here we have first chosen the red color okay then here we have chosen the another color that is the green color yes all of you can able to see yes sir yes sir okay this is the one case okay now after this we again choose the red color for this third region that is the queensland okay this is the case one now see what will happen in this case we choose the red color for the western australia then we choose the green color for the northern territory and here here we have chosen the blue color for the queensland okay now when you have chosen here the blue color see here concentrate here when you have chosen the blue color here now can you tell me is it the any color which you can give to the this region is it possible no 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 because it is being surrounded by the all this region and we have you have utilized the three colors if you try to utilize red here it is getting conflict here if you try to yes. utilize the green here it is getting conflict here correct if you try to utilize the blue here it is getting conflict here yes but see here consider this case in this case after selecting the green color we have selected the red color for this region correct yes now can you tell me can you give any color to this region this blue. region yes blue yes blue. we can give the blue color then can you another can you give to another color which color we should give here which color is possible here green green green, green. here red 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 means this problem is solved getting solved yes. if you choose this option yes we are getting the solution correct but if you choose this option are we getting the solution no no because the kind of flexibility by choosing the red color here we are getting the kind of flexibility here in the first option here when you are after after the green color we are choosing here the red color but after here after in case of these after choosing the green color we are choosing the blue color now yes. between the choice of this red color and the blue color which 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 color giving us the flexibility red red color red. is giving us the flexibility yes or no yes sir and in this case this choice of the color red is referred as the least constraining value what the point yes yes choosing this red color is nothing but what least constraining value why it is called the least constraining value because it is giving the flexibility to its neighbor to choose the color yes or no yes yes sir what are the neighbors of queensland south australia or new south wales yes or no yes sir 
yes, if sir. we choose the red color here, we are getting the flexibility that we can give the blue color here. Mm -hmm. But are we getting that kind of flexibility here in this case? No. 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 So that is nothing but the first technique related with the choosing the particular value for certain variables. And that technique is what? Least constraining value. Now you can understand the definition. Least constraining value is what? Given certain variables. Certain other variables with the cooklet. Yes, sir. Regions when you variables. Yes or no? Given variable. Choose the least constraining value means the one particular value which rule out the fewest values in the remaining variable. Which does what? Which rule out the fewest values in the remaining variables. Now choosing this value is ruling out fewest values in the remaining variable. Fewest values in the remaining variable means what? What do you mean by this statement? Rule out the fewest values in the remaining variable. Tell me, what is the meaning of this statement? Yes. Means, sir, apne laya color so don apne laya niche madhe aaj un extra color add karte hi. What do, what is the meaning of this statement? Yes, ha. Huh. The one that rule out the fewest values in the remaining variable. Manja kai apne laya kai option. If you if you if you choose the least constraining value. We, we are having some options to be remain. We are having some colors there to choose. Yes or no? Yes. That is the meaning of rule out the fewest values in the remaining variables. Understood. But if you go like this, we are not having any option remaining to choose the color for this reason. Yes or no? Yes. And yes. this is the, that's I have written in the another way. It prefer the value that will give you the flexibility to, to its neighbors. Here, South Australia is getting some flexibility to choose the color. Yes, sir. Understood. And that is nothing but the choosing this for this reason, choosing the R red color is reducing the constraints on the neighbor. What is the neighbor of Queensland? South Australia. Now choosing the red color here, there is a reduction of the constraint on its neighbor that is the South Australia. Reduction in the constraint, Manjakai? What do you mean by the reduction in the constraint? Yes, what is the meaning of reduce the constraint on its neighbor? Means this neighbor is giving, this neighbor is having some option as a color to select there. But here, there is a no option for the South Australia to choose the color. Getting the point? Yes, sir. The same thing I have mentioned here. In case of this, of this case, this will give the flexibility, one flexibility as a one. Means one color is the South Australia city silk ahe. That is what? Blue color. Got the point? So same thing I have mentioned. This gives the flexibility as a one value for the South Australia. In case of these, this does not give any flexibility to the South Australia as it allows the zero values for the SA here. Yes or no? In case yes. of these, we are having the zero values after after giving these all the all the, after giving all these colors. You are getting. Yes. So this is nothing but what the least constraining value where we select the such value which will reduce the constraint on its neighbor. Reduce the constraint on its neighbor in the sense it will give the chance to the neighbor to select some particular color without conflict. Yes or no? Yes. Understood. So that is the first technique that is related with the which value to be get selected so that the constraint on the neighbor get reduced and the problem can be get solve. If you choose this option, here we need to do the backtracking. Yes. Is the backtracking? No. 
so here that's why this is the first technique to improve the efficiency of the backtracking understood this one yes sir now see the next okay here we have the next that is a most constraining variable okay these terms are slightly confusing you know to focus here okay previous apply previous was the least constraining value that was related with the value here it is related with what variable variable first question first question kya hota apla which variable to select which variable to select so that the number of backtracks can be reduced now it, this is a simpler most constraining variable now in this technique we choose the variable with most constraints on the remaining variable which which variable will we select which is having the most constraint on the remaining variable means what most constraint on the remaining variable means what which is mostly affecting on the remaining variable yes or no yes sir you are getting the point most constraint most constraining means what which is mostly affecting on its remaining variable mean choose that variable which is mostly constraining the remaining variable which is mostly affecting on the remaining variable now its meaning i have written here what exactly it means here we need to choose the region or the variable surrounded by maximum number of regions or the variable now understood or not what we have to choose we need to choose the region or the variable surrounded by maximum number of region or the variable now tell me which variable is this this kind of variable in the our map which is the variable which is surrounded by the maximum number of variables south australia south australia yes or no all of you can see this yes. is the region you can see this is the region is surrounded by all the regions you you can see south and australia have this as a its neighbor these as a its neighbor this as a its neighbor these as a its neighbor these as its neighbor yes or no yes sir and that is the reason this region is called as the most constraining variable got the point yes yes most constraining variable ta artha samajla most constraining remaining variable means the variable which is which is affecting on its maximum number of variables or the variable which is having the maximum number of neighbors in short what the point now yes yes sir choose that variable first and assign color to that variable first that is this technique most constraining variable okay because once we assign the color to that particular region or variable it is like that all the regions color get decided automatically now we can see if you assign the green color here yes if you assign the green color here see then we can assign the red color here you can assign the blue color here then you can assign the red color here then you can here you can assign the yes blue color here again and here you can assign the red color is there any confliction no. is there any conflict no sir no, no sir means just choosing this variable our problem is getting easily solved correct or not yes sir yes sir so instead of these if you try to another variable then we need the number of backtrack will be get in increase so this is the most important technique to increase the backtracking efficiency that is what most constraining variable understood yes sir the same thing i have mentioned here sa that is the southern australia is the most constraining variable that is it is surrounded by 
maximum number of neighbors so we choose this first this variable and we try to assign color to it understood the second technique yes sir okay see the next that is the most constrained most constrained variable most constrained and the most constraining what difference you are finding here in previously we have selected the region which is surrounded by the maximum number of regions yes or no yes sir it yes. is slightly contrast to the previous opposite to the previous here we choose the region or the variable surrounded by the minimum number of region or the variable you got the point yes sir most constraining was our previous technique this is what most constrain means see the regions or the variable surrounded by minimum number of regions or the variables okay now which is such kind of region now in if you see the graph this is the one part it is surrounded by how many variables two yes two two this one and this one now there is another region which is also surrounded by the two this region yes or no yes yes this and this now we choose from this okay we choose from this so we'll assign the red color here because it is surrounded by the minimum number of variables okay we assign the red color here now here we have to see what are the legal values remaining for another variables its neighbors what are the neighbors of western australia northern northern territory and the australia. southern australia now after giving the red color here which color you can give to this region or to the this region to this region which color you can give you can give the green and you can give the blue also yes or no yes yes sir yes here also you have the two option you can give the green and you can give the blue also yes correct but you we have to choose the one of these so we choose this northern territory for the point yes and we give the which color to the northern territory green color green understood the point yes sir yes sir now next we have to see the next variable which is surrounded by the minimum number of neighbors now which is that that is nothing but this correct vector barobar na yes because this is surrounded by 1 2 3 3 this is surrounded by 1 2 3 3 also so but this is only surrounded by 1 and 2 got the point so after this you have to choose which region this region now which color you can give here you can give the red color easily here yes yes sir so after giving the red color here its neighbors are having the which now you have to see its neighbor this and this now for this neighbor which color you can give which are the fewest legal values for this region you have to see the fewest legal value for this region after giving the red year after giving the red year which values are remain which value we can use here and which value can you, we can use here yes which value you can use here for this region blue or green blue or green which value you can give here so you have to think ha huh, here yes blue blue means here how many legal value you are having at this point one yes how many legal values you are having at one. this point that is blue one one blue here you have the after giving the red here you are having the green and blue here correct yes 
Yes. This is already we have color. So what you have to see after after choosing the region which is surrounded by minimum number of variables. Next thing we have to see what fewest legal values. Now out of these two neighbors, which is having the fewest legal values? This one, yes or no? Yes. Yes. So you will give the blue here. What you will give the blue here? Understood. Now, which two are remaining? This and this. Then, now see its neighbor. Apple ka yacha neighbor baga cha. Ata yacha neighbor ka do net. Correct. Here you are the blue. Here now this one is remaining and this one. Now which are the remaining? Uh, only one is remaining. No, sorry, two are remaining. This one and the this one. Now which are the legal values for this region? After giving the blue here, red here, yes. For this region. Red. Red. Yes. Red. And for this region. Green. Green. Our problem gets solved. Yes. Yes. Here, in case of this technique, we have to follow the two steps. First step is what? First, you have to see the variable surrounded by what? Minimum number of regions. Yes or no? Yes. After selecting that variable, you have to color that variable. Got the point? And after coloring that, you have to see which remaining values are there for its neighbor. And after seeing which remaining values are remaining for its neighbor, you have to see the fewest legal values out of that. Just like we have done here. See, here we have select the R. Now, which are the remaining value for its neighbor? This is the blue remain for here. Yes. And here, green and blue. Yes. Then out of these two, its neighbor, which is having the fewest legal value that you have to see. Which one is having the fewest legal value? Which region? Southern, Southern Australia. Yes, so that is our second step. And in the same way, you have to proceed. Got the two step? First step is what? See the variable surrounded by the minimum number of variables and second after giving the color to this particular variable see its neighbor with the fewest legal values and those variable is with the fewest legal values give the color to that particular variable understood the third technique yes, yes Two steps understood. First, select the variable surrounded by the minimum number of variable, color it, and second, see its neighbors, its surrounded neighbors. Same thing we have done here. Yes or no? We have this is the first from here we have started. Here we have given the red, and then we have uh, search its two neighbors. This is the one neighbor. This is the another neighbor. For this, which is the uh, uh, which are the option we are remaining here? We have the green. And we are the blue. Here also we have the green and we have the blue. But we choose this one, this region we chosen, and we give the green here, green color here. Understood? After that, we proceed in the similar way. Okay. So this is nothing but third technique, most constrained variable. Now there is a major difference between the most constraining and the most constrained. In the most constraining, what we are selecting? Yes, in the most constraining, which variable we are selecting? Variable surrounded by maximum number of maximum variables. number of variables. And in the most constrained, uh, which is surrounded by minimum number of minimum variables. number of variables. Understood the third minimum. Yes, sir. Okay. See the next one. Forward checking. Next technique is what the forward checking technique. Okay. 
now let's see now this technique uh, works differently okay now we see the example as you can see in the example we go on assigning color to the different region now we assign for example red here then we randomly assign the green here then we randomly assign the blue here okay now when we go to assign the another color to the another variable after assigning these three regions with the three different color now when you see the next region we come to know there is a no color remaining which can be assigned to the southern australia yes or no yes sir is there any valid yes. color remain there which we can ass assign to the southern australia no no mm -hmm. so at the point we determine that we cannot assign the particular valid color to the remaining region okay at that point we terminate at that point means we will terminate at this point and from this point we will do the backtrack okay where we terminate where we terminate when we see there is no color remaining for the certain region at that point we terminate and from that point we do the backtracking that is simply nothing but the forward checking forward checking in the sense we check the unassigned part what we check unassigned part of the certain region that's why it is being referred as what the forward checking method okay here i have written uh, uh, in case of the forward checking we keep track of the remaining legal values for the unassigned variables now here we can see here there is a no remaining value which we can assign to this region understood and that is the point we have to stop here okay so forward checking is the general technique understood this one yes, yes you you just yes, have to sir. randomly go on assigning the color and when at the certain point we you when you see that there is a no color remaining for certain region at that point we terminate okay this is slightly different from our from our previous three techniques that we have seen okay got the point here i have here i have mentioned the example we go on uh, assigning the color you can see we go on assigning the color to the different regions we don't uh, think on particular value or the certain variables randomly we go on assigning the colors and when we notice that certain region is not left with any valid color certain region is not left with any valid color to assign at that point we terminate and we backtrack okay so this is our fourth technique that is the forward checking and here is our last one that is the constraint propagation now this is the most popular and mostly utilized technique that is the constraint propagation because you can see in the forward checking it does not provide you any kind of detection of the failure early detection forward checking madhe aapla early detection hota ka previous technique madhe yes in case of the forward checking do do we have the early detection of the failure no sir ho aapla the failure jhala nantar karte what the point aaplala kay pahije कि फेल्युअर होण्याच्या अगोदर आपलं काहीतरी आयडिया यायला पाहिजे अंडरस्टूड वी शुड हॅव सम आयडिया बिफोर द फेल्युअर विल हॅपन सो इन द कन्स्टंट प्रोपगेशन स्ट्रॅटजी वी असाइन कलर टू द वन ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द ग्राफ ओके लिसन केअरफुली हिअर व्हॉट वी डू वी असाइन कलर टू द वन ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द ग्राफ अँड देन वी इव्हॅल्युएट द अदर पार्ट फॉर व्हॅलिड असाइनमेंट you are getting what we do we assign the color to the one of the part of the graph any part and then we do what the we evaluate the other part of the graph or the map for valid assignment here what we do we assign color to the one of the part of the map or the graph and other parts we evaluate for the valid assignment understood let's see how we can do it see here now in this example you can see 
now we have assigned now our procedure will start from this this is the initial everything is empty then we assign the red color to the first region okay and when you are assigning the color to the queue for example this is the queue okay when you are assigning color to the queue okay when you are assigning the color to the queue you check what you check whether other neighbors will get affected due to that assignment or not see you assign the red color here the next we go forward and then if you think that we should assign the green color to this q region okay now when you are thinking about giving the q color to sorry green color to the q region okay that time that time you do the evaluation of the remaining region now what are the re, uh, neighbors of the queue here at this point what are the neighbors of the queue nt and nt and sa and this region also now when you are assigning the green color to these okay when you are assigning the green color to these before you fix the green color to this region you do the evaluation what evaluation you do yes what evaluation you do hmm while assigning the green color to this region what evaluation you do yes. what i told you see when we assign color to one of the part of the map or the graph other parts are evaluated for what valid assignment correct so when you are trying to assign the green color to this we evaluate the other parts for valid assignment now what are the other part of this region yes what are the nt and yes sa so when you are giving the green color to this region what evaluation you are doing what is your evaluation you need to evaluate its neighbors nt and sa for example now if you assign the green color to this do you have any color which you can give to the nt and sa only blue 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 color here you can see its two regions that is nt and sa are only left with which color only one color one color yes blue but this nt and sa are neighbors of each other yes can you give can you give the same color to this both region no no blue. because they yes. are adjacent region so hence you can decide here the wrong assignment to the green uh, to the uh, uh, region q is a green color yes or no yes so this is getting detected early wrong assignment of green to the q is det getting detected early or not yes 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 it is getting detected early one step early what you are getting detected you are getting detected that if you assign the green color to this region this because of this assignment we are going to have the problem in the future all of you are agree yes. yes and is it the early detection correct yes sir, yes, sir. is this kind of things we, we we can have using the forward forward checking no no 
that is the reason i have mentioned forward checking checking doesn't give us the early detection of the failure but using the constraint propagation we can have the early detection of the failure and now so we will backtrack from this region only yes or no you are getting my point instead of backtracking from this region we will backtrack from this region only correct yes so because of that the definitely the number of backtrack will get reduced yes so that is nothing but the constraint propagation technique understood the fifth technique yes sir what was the first we have discussed first technique was list the con list constraining Very value good. second Very second was the most least constraining most constraining Very variable third is the most constrained variable constraint. fourth is the forward checking and last one was the constraint propagation propagation what we are doing in the first in the list constraining value what we are doing we are choosing the such value as a list constraining value which will give the more flexibility to its neighbors yes. correct that is the first technique second was we are choosing the variable which is surrounded by maximum number of neighbors region yes. or the regions in the third technique what we are doing we are we are selecting the regions which is surrounded by minimum number of regions or the variables and after that we are assigning color to the, that particular regions and we check the fewest legal value for the neighbors and accordingly we give the color next forward checking we randomly go on assigning the color and we stop at the point when you see that we don't have any color to be uh, any color remain to give to the certain regions and from that point we backtrack and the last one that is the constraint propagation where where we can we can have the early detection of the failure how we assign the color to the one of the part of the graph and when we go for the next part we do the evaluation for the valid assignment and if we don't find the valid assignment we backtrack from that point only that is nothing but we get the detection of the failure early got the five techniques Yes, sir. yes sir. you need to go through all these things yes. again okay so that you can have the clear idea okay when you when you upload the video you need to go through all these again and understand by yourself only what we have discussed then and then only the concept will get more clear okay got the point yes sir okay so that's it from the today's lecture yes,